The scatter plot shown below shows the relationship between the number of video files X stored on a computer and the number of gigabytes Y of storage space available on the computer. All right, so we got ourselves a scatter plot. We got a bunch of dots, and it looks to me, and I'm no mathematician, but it looks to me that the more video files you have, the less available storage you have. That's called, boys and girls, a negative. Uh, correlation. Based on the scatter plot, which equation represents a line of best fit that could be used to predict the number of gigabytes of storage space available on the computer based on the number of video files that could be stored on the computer? Question mark. Well, I need a line of best fit. So I'm going to do my darndest to draw a perfectly straight line, which is really difficult for me to do on this computer here. But what I have is I kind of have myself kind of a line going through those dots. Now, more importantly, I'm, I'm kind of almost done here, but not really. First things first, if I'm going to compare this to y equals a number x plus whatever, that looks to me like slope intercept form. So y equals mx plus b. Now, a little Freudian slip here. I accidentally called m negative. All of these are negative. That's not going to help. But what I do see is that b is somewhere up here in the 200s. Okay, somewhere up here. So that's going to be my y-intercept is somewhere in the 200s. So definitely not u and definitely not u. Okay, so I'm going to say b is 200, I don't know, 200-ish. What I have to do is find my slope. Now my slope, I really have to be a whole lot more careful. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to pick points that look promising to me, all right? I'm gonna pick points that look good to me. I'm gonna pick that point right there and I'm gonna pick that point right there and I'm gonna to try to find the slope. Now my line of best fit pretty much hit all of these dots so I'm okay with doing it this way. If I go from here to here, I'm going down one box, two boxes. Going down two boxes is a change of 200 to 150, which is 50. So I'm going down, it's a negative slope, 50, and I'm gonna go over, and it looks like every time I go over, I go over one. So over one, two, three, four, five. So negative 50 over five is going to give me negative 10. So the answer that I'm coming up with is m is equal to negative 10, b is 20-ish, somewhere in between 200 and 250, okay? So I'll say around like 225, so I'll change that to 225. So I have y equals negative 10x, plus 225. Now that clearly is not what I'm given for either of these, but negative 10 is closer to negative eight than negative 14, and 225 is closer to 227 than 250. So I'm gonna go with C. Okay, I like C. Is it perfect? No, but is it much closer than A? It sure is, let's go with that, I'm sticking to it.